All right, Viking fans, we got a new cornerback on our 53-man roster. We picked him up off uh, the Miami Dolphins practice squad. Let's talk about him next in 3, 2, 1. Gather around, Skull brothers and sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, on TikTok, Facebook, at Skull World. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. We're giving away this autographed jersey behind me, autographed by Chuck Foreman himself. Now, make sure you're friends of the channel. Go to Purple and Gold for Days, Purple Pocket Podcast, GG Sports Podcast, The Purple Code. I'm on all of these channels. Make sure you go subscribe, like, and comment, but make sure you like and subscribe and comment on this one and you're entered to win that autographed jersey. We're also, we've also we given away the last Spin Doctor bobblehead, but go to ChuckForeman44.com. You scroll 15 on checkout, you get 15% off. The jersey, we're giving that away January 3rd. Subscribe, like, and comment, and you're entered to win. I do not throw away any entries, so make sure all entries are taken I, I do not throw them away. So if you've entered, you're still in it. And and we go we're with fanatics.com. So make sure you go to go to the description below. I'll have links. Use those links. Copy and paste them into a new browser. You'll be uh, if you use those if you purchase with th- those links, you will be helping out the channel. Now let's talk about the person, Kalen Barnes. I'm using this photo because he is known for his second fastest ever combine time, a 4.23. There is a video. There's all sorts of videos in the description. Again, this is the most, as usual, I talk about, you know, the draft potential of players more than anybody. When I I go back and look to see what we thought of them before the draft, Kalen Barr was brought in on the, on a visit to the Vikings, we liked him. We considered him. We didn't draft him. Obviously, we we drafted a couple of you know, a couple of secondary players earlier in the draft. We didn't go like a Caleb Evans, uh, Andrew Boo Jr., Lewis Seen. We we kind of filled our roster full of uh, cornerbacks and safeties that we did not um, pull the trigger on him. Uh, we probably would have tried to bring him as a undrafted free agent, most likely. However, he was drafted by the Carolina Panthers in the seventh round, pick number 21, ran a 4-2-3-40. You'll see in the video of his 40 time, it said 4 2 9, but his official time was 4.23. Do not know how that works, but let's go let's go through his bio again. I got all everything I'm talking about. I got videos, links in the description below. Go watch every single one of them. Get to know your new uh, Viking. I think he was a great pickup. If anything, special teams right out of the gate, and you know a little, you know he's going to be on the 53, so we get a little security there with another cornerback as we've been losing uh, secondary players this season uh, for the season. Uh, Kalen, pronouncing K Lun uh, Barnes, was best known for his exploits in track during high school years, owning the country's best 100 meter dash. Time 10.04 and second best 200 time 20.55 as a senior. Winning state titles in both for the second straight year. He also beat former Auburn and current NFL receiver Anthony Schwartz in the 100 meters at the Adidas Dream 100 in 2017. Though Schwartz was coming back from an injury, Barnes ran with Baylor in 2019 outdoor season, winning the USC Trojan Invitational 100 meters at at 10.43. On the football field, he was all-district player at Silby High School in Texas before joining the Bears. He shifted from receiver to cornerback during preseason camp as a true freshman, playing 11 games as a reserve that season. Ten tackles, one pass breakup. Barnes contributed in all 14 games in 2019. 22 tackles, one interception, five pass breakups before earning a starting job in five of six games played in 2020. 13 tackles, 2 for loss, 1 interception, 3 pass breakups. Though he missed time at the end of the year, played with a heavy wrap due to a thumb injury. 
Barnes started 10 games in 2021, again missing time due to injury, but collecting 24 tackles and interception and pass breakup during the year. This was by Chad Reuter. You will see a video of his highlights. You will see the cast he played with. It was basically a club he played with and got an interception with it. He missed out on other interceptions because of this cast. You will see in other other videos of his interceptions of that he has ball skills. He was a receiver going into college. In his in his press conference with the Carolina Panthers, he was you know outstanding in the press conference. He's a great personality. Uh, Wolfson interviewed him in the locker room. He was great. I don't have a, I don't have the uh, link to that. But go check it out. Go Wolf's, you know, go to Wolfson's uh, Twitter. I, I forget his Twitter handle, but you can find it, Doogie Wolf, Wolfson. Now make sure you know, make sure you go check out these videos. Find out what this player is about. Um, he's a if he's a project, he's an outstanding choice as a project. He does have ball skills because he was a receiver. He is a cornerback. He says he's a football player that plays track, not the other way around. He has such elite. speed. Speed that I, I think Adidas or Nike, I think his Adidas was going to sign him six figure deal to go run track for him. His dad talked him out of it, who was an elite athlete too, and said, Hey, go football route because you get a bigger paycheck. You know, you, this is a one time deal with Adidas. You know, go go do this with, go do the, uh, go the football route. You get strapped in the seventh round, man. And I think it has everything to do with the fact that he's playing with a freaking club on his hand his senior year at um, Baylor. So that, that set him back. Here's the overview. Uh, I also have this in the description below. Cornerback with traits worthy of consideration for a late-round pick. Barnes has legitimate track speed, but he plays can his play can be too reliant upon that aspect of his game. He's better athlete than cover man, often losing track of his coverage duties. He's athletic and no excuse for not playing with better technique. Barnes' length and ball skills could have team willing to plug him into a practice squad slot to see if there's more consistent football ahead for him. What a great opportunity to add depth at um, special teams, honestly. So great pickup. We need, you know, you know, we, we get some injuries every once in a while on in special teams. It has happened this year. He's 5'11 and a half. 183 pounds, little little light, 31 and three quarter inch arms, not bad for uh, you know cornerback. Hands nine seven eights, not quite ten, but nine seven eights. It, it shows. He does have decent length. Um, he is, it, you know, he's listed at six foot. And apparently, in the combine he was just shy of that. He'll be one of our bigger corners. You know, it's not one of our bigger. Yeah, he's he's pretty average size for corner. And, you know, length is there. His speed is off the charts. Off the charts. And honestly, I've seen a little bit of his uh, footwork. He stumbles a bit. They're not lying. Um, But I think just practice, man. Just practice, practice, practice. This guy could be a contributor on defense. I think what an opportunity to get someone off the practice squad, to be able to put him on our 53 with as elite speed as this guy got. Speed kills in this league, man. Speed kills, and you know we don't have it right now on defense. Honestly, we don't have it on defense. So this is a little nice having, you know, if we, we got a backup that can run this fast. Um, strength. Chiseled physique with good arm length. All true. Texas high school sprint champ. True. Elite. I got that video in there. He, him running the 100, running a 10 4 100-yard dash. He might be the one of the fastest, if not the fastest guy in the NFL right now. Flashes his ball skills with trail technique. He does. He does. He steals some balls in the air, and he had, I think he would have had more of them if he didn't have a club on his hand. I think this guy probably was a, you know, a fourth or fifth-round pick if he didn't play his senior season with a damn club on his hand. Is juice to recover whenever it is needed, which we don't have. We're seeing guys like Dancer get beat this last game. Able to close distance and squeeze deep target when the ball goes up. Agreed. 100% agreed. Length to reach in, uh, reach and, t- and time the high point. True. You'll see it. You'll see in the highlight he's able to do that. 
closing bursts to bait quarterbacks to bad throws. If he gets his, you know, in-game intelligence or, you know, up to speed, right, he, he can he can start baiting people, and he's that fast. And you know what? If we're going to play this shell Donatel defense, we need a guy that can recover fast, break on balls, jump routes. That's the kind of guy this guy could be if he starts recognizing uh, plays. And honestly, I mean... Duke Shelley, he's, he's a cover guy, but he's not a fast cover guy. You know, he's got some skills, but he's not. He, this guy's so much faster than Duke Shelley. Has necessary footwork to improve his pattern um, matching. I don't know what that says, but footwork. I get the footwork part. I think he has it. I think he's capable of it. He's quick. He's got quick feet. You can see that on his starts, man. He's got quick feet. Weaknesses, plays very loose with his technique. Can be nonchalant and too reliant upon makeup speed, of course. Gives early ground with sluggish opening. I don't know. I, I didn't quite get to see that, but I'll, I'll, you know, benefit the doubt there. Can do a better job of locating deep throws sooner. Beat up downfield by BYU targets. Mm, I, I would love to go see that. I, I try to look for game tape. Grab and ride tackler who is not built for run support. That's true. Um, but I don't know. He doesn't look small out there, man. He doesn't look small. Missed five games the last two seasons due to injury. Isn't that the story of our lives right now with injury? But that's why he's on our team, and that's why he's got his first opportunity to be on the 53-man. You know, you know, Panthers d- drafted him. He was worthy of being drafted. I think he was worthy of being a, a fifth round. Just to be, you know, fifth round pick. It said, um, said he was, you know, fringe, fringe draft or priority free agent, hey, if he didn't have that club on his hand his senior year, this guy, I think, was a fifth-round pick, if if not better, because of um, people would have rolled the dice on his speed. And we rolled the dice on uh, Caleb Evans in the fourth round. This guy, you know, he was up there as far as talent goes. Uh, so I don't think he was as good a prospect. And, again, I'm, the club on his hand's a big deal, man, for this guy. How could you run with that thing and catch with that thing? He was doing it, man. He was still doing it, and he was draft worthy. I don't think he was as good a prospect at say as a Caleb Evans because a Caleb Evans got good college tape, and he's a willing tackler. I don't have the videotape on Kalen Barnes tackling that much, but um, he's got decent. He's you know a little light, but he's got a decent size and speed. And I think in arm length, those kind of things can tell me that he can wrap up, right? And again, chisel physique. This guy's a specimen. I don't have any other bench press, vertical jump, broad jump, three cone drill, 20 yard, 60 yard shuttles. None of that. But that four two threes got me all interested. That a make sure you go checked out all the videos below on on uh, Kalen Barnes. He is a prospect. It was a nice deal that we could steal him from the Miami Dolphins who are flush full of of players. That's it for now. Check out those videos. Subscribe, like, and comment. I'm out. Cue the music. Thank you, Viking fans, for listening. Make sure you catch my other episodes. Also, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Skull Vikes.